at last left the Vault Dweller of Vault 13. They enlisted the assistance of Ian and Seth to go fight and take on the Rad Scorpion Menace that had been plaguing the town of Shady Sands. They entered the cave and slew all of them. Now they returned back to Shady Sands and back to a grateful Eridesh and Raslo, who were happy to have ensured the safety of the town and to have Brad Scorpion Tails to create some sort of poison anti-venom antidote thing. Now the Vault Dweller made off with Ian still in tow for Vault 15, but along the way they had entered the camp of the cons. This is Fallout. Welcome back. Let us look around here real quick. But before we do that, of course, had a bunch of folks right in. Let's see. Let's tend to this real quick. Gentle viewer Rob wrote in with advice on the ammo. Said, should be able to equip different ammo types if it corresponds to the gun by just dragging and dropping. Let's just practice and give it a shot here. Well, I mean, we, we won't really give it a shot, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Let's see. Let me quick save. There we go. Activate our quick save slot. Maybe I should get in the habit of just doing this ahead of time to save some time. Right? We'll see if I can remember to do that. Okay. Let's see here. So, if we go down this way. So then that work? I don't think so. <laughs> I, d I don't think so. Huh. Like this? This will just drop? Yeah, that'll just drop it. Huh? Or do I have to unequip it? Do I have to like... Well... Do I put it there and then? <laughs> like that? What happens if I just have bullets right here? What if I just... What if I do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happens. All right, I don't know how to do it. I truly do not know how to do it. Okay. Clearly must be doing something wrong there. Uh, hang on, let's try it one more time. Let's see, if I drag this... Done. So that made this the reload sound like we were actually doing something. So these may not be compatible? Despite being 10 millimeter armor piercing? It may not work with the 10 millimeter pistol. Maybe there's a different 10 millimeter weapon? Oh, you know what? Here. Unload it first. And then? Ah! <laughs> okay, right. It doesn't just automatically remove all of the ammunition currently in it. We have to do that manually. I see. Okay, well, for the time being, I do actually want these. Oh, whoops. The hollow points will do. Okay. Now, also, in a similar vein, and we can test this out right here. Let's see. Gentle viewer... Alan wrote in with information on the fact that, like many CRPGs, Fallout 1 does in fact have the feature that lets you see interactable items on the ground. And I looked at our quick referencing and there were a few things that it could have been. So we'll try B. Well, I don't know what that did. What is that? What is that, that effect that I'm doing? Oh, I see. Okay, I see what we're doing. Gotcha. All right. Also, I want to... Whoops. <laughs> whoops, we definitely don't want to do that. I want to reload. Good. Okay, so how about M? Is this our key? No, that just changes our cursor, like, what would happen if we right-clicked. Okay, and then N? That does not do it either. All right, I have no idea what it could be then. I... These were the three different things that were listed inside of the manual 
the quick reference guide that I thought would possibly be it. And as it turns out, neither of them are that. So, like, ideally, I would imagine when we highlight over it, how it had the yellow outline, it would just have that on all the time. You know, like a CRPG would. But in this case, I have no idea what the button is. Anyway, also, let's see. General viewer Nubile Reptile wrote in that the uh, these cons are calling us Death Hand because we just so happen to be a male character with 10 luck. And then general viewers Paulo in Rage Mode L went in went so far as to say and add that the Death Hand is the cons leader's dad. Which I don't know if we needed to know that. Maybe a bit of a light spoiler there. And then also, general viewer Iris wrote in when we were in the Rad Scorpion cave, we were talking about this. Said that, yeah, in fact, Rad Scorpions do totally lay eggs, and we even played in Fallout New Vegas. We had to get some of their eggs, right? And reminded me of the fact that, indeed, FEV totally reacts very differently depending uh, upon the species. It varies wildly. Anyhow, let us continue looking around here a little bit. I'll do another quick save. Actually, you know what? Let me verify that I do have this loaded, because now I'm a little scared. Okay, yeah, good. All right. And also, we should probably... Folks also wrote in with information that we should probably not do too much here. Because there is a quest later on. Okay. Hey. Excuse me, Death Hand. I'm sorry to disturb you. I can't believe this 10 luck thing is paying off, actually. <laughs> okay. The dead walk again. The death hand has returned. Okay. It's me, the death hand. What's up, asshole? Garl? I killed you. I don't get it. <laughs> yes, you did. I've come back to haunt you. You should not have done that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. One and three are both really good. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Which one should we go with? We're probably going to reload here. <laughs> should I say I don't get it or you should not have done that? They're both really good. Honestly, two isn't half bad either. These are three excellent choices. You should not have done that. Don't tell me what I should have done, father. I rule the cons now, and you are but warm meat. I still live. I should have killed you when you were a child. I still live. I can see you standing before me, but I don't believe it. What do you want? I want you to step down. I want riches to buy my way into heaven. I want you to step down. Or, no, I want money. Never! Oh, shit. Was he trying to shoot me? <laughs> Who was he shooting? He turned over to shoot one of these people standing in the corner. Jesus, no wonder he couldn't kill me, death hand. Okay, let's do a quick load here. Good. Okay, so if we don't talk to this person, we should be fine. I should be okay to just loot the bookshelf or whatever. I can't remember. I don't think they talk to us automatically. Huh? <laughs> I want this, this stuff in here. Ooh, what is this? Looks like a Molotov. Yeah. You see Molotov cocktail. A homemade flammable grenade. Minimum strength three. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Done. Are they mad about that? They're cool with it. Okay. We got any more books and stuff around here? Excuse me, Death Hand. I'm sorry to disturb you. The dead walk again. The Death Hand has returned. That's right. It's me, the Death Hand. How about this? Also locked. Do you think we can nab some quick XP here by just <laughs> lock picking this? Let's see. It's on two. Are they going to get angry about this? 
Let me quick save. Okay. Cool. Does trespassing exist as a concept in this game? Both in the in the sense of if they see me picking a lock, will they get mad? And also, if I've successfully gone undetected while picking the lock, if they see me in the restricted area, is that also grounds for getting into deep shit? Oh, I can't pick it. Or do I have to try again? Ah, okay, so you are rolling the dice. Gotcha. Anything in here? What is this? You see a chair. A smelly old chair that used to be a car seat. The springs have lost their spring. Okay. This music is so fun. Okay. Bunch of boxes. You see boxes. A pile of old cardboard boxes. You cannot believe that they have survived for this long. Brother, have I got news for you. <laughs> we'll see boxes surviving 200 years. These boxes probably got like 120 more years in them. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's see. Let's go on up here. The dead walk again. Hey, a ghost! That's right, it's me. Dead hand, the ghost. Okay. <laughs> let's look at their shitter. Can we inspect them? This toilet is broken. This toilet is broken. You see junk. A car tire buried in the sand. Some small pieces of wood are piled up around it. Okay. Well, how about this? A car? Ooh. If the mechanic of the year suddenly appeared next to you, both of you could not fix this rusty heap. Okay. Well... Let's head on down and around here. A tease of things to come in Fallout 2, though, huh? Oh, who is this? Okay. Are these just regular people in here? Tough Desert Raider. A chair. Okay. I'm not too keen on stealing from them, like pickpocketing them, because I'm not convinced that we meet the requisite level to actually mess around here <laughs> okay but I am interested in poking around to see if they got anything else worth taking doesn't seem like that's the case we'll check this last tent over here there we go okay oh look there is some good shit in here gonna quick save oh shit I can't Take it because my bot is there. Whoa, 44 Magnum. Full metal jacket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. The dead walk again. Have you come back to kill your son? Yeah, I have. But not yet. I'm just, I'm biding my time. I'll, I will return, cons. I will return in the future. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's quick save. There we go. Good. Now, let's head on over to this, I suppose. Can you, like, dra- Oh, shit. Okay, let's just immediately click on that. Course correct. Aren't there random encounters in this game? Have we just gotten, like, really lu- Oh, we've gotten really lucky! We haven't had any random encounters yet in the wastes. You know, like, shouldn't we be getting attacked by wild rad scorpions or- Mole rats or some shit, I think. Anyhow, Vault 15. Should be filled with raiders. Oh, fuck, look at this. Oh my gosh, also, this must be an even bigger map than I'm understanding, because this is a coffee ring right here? Whoa, okay. Well, in we go. Let's do a quick save. Good. Oh, look. A small shack is all that remains of this area. Fortunately, your records indicate a secondary entrance to Vault 15 there. Okay. Also, note the Rad Scorpion. 
Ooh, it's coming in hot. Oh, shit. Ho! Oh. Okay. Fire it well. 95%. Uh. 95. Uh. A forceful blow. I was hit instead of the scorpion. Oops, you were hit instead of Rag Scorpion. I got shot for 10 HP? Damn, dude, you're jacking my swag here. <laughs> Come on, fella, you're jacking my swag over here next to this Rag Scorpion. <laughs> we can't be having any of that. <laughs> the fuck? Let's see, can we take its tail too? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I got a level. Okay. I deserve that for being shot in the fucking back. There we go. Let's claim our prize. How do I do that again? I go over here to character. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I get a perk. Let's see. I wrote down here as well. One that people really recommend. They say it's like one of the better ones in the game or something. Let's see. Sorry, I'm flipping through pages in my notebook. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. They recommend awareness. Really? Awareness. You are more likely to notice details about people. Awareness will give more detailed information about them when you perform an examine. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that's situationally good for me because I do like examining and reading bullshit. I do kind of love that. Earlier sequence. You are more likely to move before your opponent in combat since your sequence is plus two for each level of this perk. Can you, here's a question. Can you have so much sequence in combat? I think, didn't, um, didn't Divinity Original Sin have a system similar to this? But can you have so much sequence that you can actually get two turns before an enemy? Isn't that possible? Or does this like safeguard against that? This this game's systems. Night Vision. With the Night Vision perk, you can see in the dark better. Each level of this perk will reduce the overall darkness level by 10% quick pockets. You've learned to better store your equipment on your person. With each level of this perk, the AP cost to access inventory in combat is reduced by one. Does that include reloading, I wonder? It looks like it in the picture, doesn't it? Scout. You have improved your ability to see distant locations, increasing the size of expl explorations on the world map by one square in each direction. Huh. Smooth Talker. A Smooth Talker has learned to increase their options and dialogue without understanding what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Each level of this perk will increase your... I-N? Oh, intelligence? By one. For purposes of dialogue only. Ah. Swift Learner. You are indeed a Swift Learner with this perk. As each level will give you an additional plus 5% bonus whenever you earn XP. Best purchase and early level. But my understanding is that XP is no problemo in Fallout 1 and potentially Fallout 2. And certainly in Fallout 3 and onwards. Well, in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, perks like this are garbage. Because there's a finite number of levels and perks you can get, so... No real reason to invest in XP rate. However, they do sort of make it worthwhile to get bonus XP in Fallout 4 and 76 by way of there being essentially limitless levels in Fallout 4 and a soft cap in 76. For better or worse with that system, you know. Okay. Which I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to talk about in the future. Anyway, people recommend awareness. Sure, why not? It seems situationally good for me, like I said. Okay, there we go. Now, should I pump up small guns even more? I fucking think so. 
I fucking think I want to take it all the way to a hundo. Do I want it at 99 or do I actually want to go all the way over? Hmm. Let's take this up to that. How high do I want this? Because obviously having it higher than 99 does mean that when we're shooting from range, because already, you know, like that Rad Scorpion we just fought, when it got close enough, still not close enough to hit me in melee, I was able to get a 95% chance shot off. So, but this will make it to where if I engage from further away, I'll still have a fairly good chance at, at like, blasting, you know? I kind of like what we got here, though. I kind of like this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is great. Done. There we go. Cool. Let's do a quick save. Are there any other scorpions out here? It is really just this little shack. Okay. This is an old shack. It is barely standing and seems to have been looted long ago. What about the gigantic weird hole in it? Can I examine Ian? Like a super exa- Whoa! He has the confident, relaxed stance of an experienced fighter. He has 50 out of 50 health points and is wielding a 10mm pistol with 3 out of 12 shots of 10mm JHP. Holy fuck! Okay. What if I examine this? This ladder is made out of an alloy iron. <laughs> it is slightly rusted with 84 years of age. <laughs> This ladder leads into the darkness below. I think it only works on people. Maybe maybe the additional information is this extra bullet point here with all the stats and everything. Which, is that really recommended? Really? Huh? Ooh. Did you see our little gun twirl? Ooh, I like that. Okay. Let's do another quick save. We don't do, like, extra cool animations because we have high agility, do we? That's not the case, is it? Like, if I were a low agility character, would I not spin my gun? Does everyone do that? Hmm. Okay. Yo, we have killed a lot of scorpions. Wow. Oh, look, there's actually flavor text on this. Oh my god, kills. A counter that keeps track of the type and numbers of creatures you have slaughtered or have seen killed in your presence. Rad scorpions. The number of mutated rad scorpions that have that you have put to death during your adventure. And this is slightly different too. The number of rats you have killed includes all members of the rat family. Okay. Reputation general. This is a range stat that represents your general reputation. The higher the number, the better known and respected you are. If your rep is negative, you're hated by some for your evil actions. Karma. These are the effects of the choices you make during the game. Perks add additional abilities every third experience level you can choose a perk. Okay. Makes sense. And we've already seen the flavor text for these. That's wild that we've got this. The kill tracker? That's buck wild. I like that it also says includes all members of the rat family. So probably... The cave rats. The mole rats. If Benny from New Vegas were in this and we killed him, then it would go up by one. <laughs> you like that? Is that pretty good? That's pretty good. That's some Fallout deep cut going on. Let's do another quick save. All right. <laughs> Let's get on out over here. Oh yeah, speaking of rats. Should I just be blasting rats? Should I be a rat blaster? Kind of feel like I need to be blasting rats here. If we get down to, what, 40 reserve bullets, then we'll stop blasting. But for now, I'm down to blast. Holy shit, there are many of them. Bam. Okay. Good. I 
Wonderful. Okay, there we go. Let's reload. Anything else down and around here? Can I loot the rat? Oh, shit! Right. Do they ever have anything on them? We didn't loot any of the rats back at Vault 13. Okay, for good reason. Oh, should I try to inspect a rat? <laughs> okay. Cave rat. You see nothing out of the ordinary. It has 6 out of 6 HPs. Okay, well it's about to have 0 out of 6. Oh! I <laughs> fucking missed it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Great. Are we even pulling their ire? Have we drawn aggro at all against them? Sheesh, our hit chance is pretty grim from this far. Oh, wow. We can just safely pick them off. Wow, there is great reason to pump up your stats, huh? Bam. Because they won't even engage in combat with you, even if you're, like, blasting them from afar. I'm assuming if you actually land a real-ass hit, they'll come over, they'll notice. Okay. Is there anything over in this little weird corner area? I think not. What is this? You see vault door. This vault door is now just a heavy piece of scrap metal. The mechanism to open and close the heavy vault door has been damaged beyond repair. Oh, okay. In we go. Woohoo. Let's hit ourselves with a quick save here. Okay. Let's see. Doorway. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Locker. Oh, shit. This is a locker? I thought it was a terminal of some sort. Whoa! A whole bunch of flares! A flare creates light for a short period of time. The paper is a little worn, but otherwise it is in good condition. Twist the top to activate it. Thank you. Cool. Wow, we need to keep an eye out for those. I thought that was just a junk computer. Whoa! What's that? Is that a Yaogwai? Time to use my new ability. It's a lesser mole rat? Motherfucker, that looks like a fucking Yaogwai. It's like as big as the damn door. Okay. Well, I should have reloaded. Hopefully it's easy to kill. Ugh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Let's see. Lesser Mole Rat was critically hit in the left paw for 12 HP. The left paw of the rat is blown off! It was killed. Okay. Let's see. Seriously wounding the rat and knocking it around. Jeez, I crit it so hard. It knocked it around. It jostled it. Okay. Do they have some sort of amazing loot on them? No. Yo, it looks like a fucking Yaogwai for sure. Do Yaogwai even exist in Fallout 1, or is that not until Fallout 2 that they- Uh-oh. Oh, baby rat. Bam. I missed 95% fucking XCOM ass going on. I'm gonna kick your ass! <laughs> so says Ian. <laughs> <laughs> and can I kick these things asses too? What if I try to end combat? Okay. Yeah, Ian, chill for a bit. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. End combat. Look, I'm still in the method of clicking. Okay. Let's try it again. Surely we don't need to reload for these. I don't think we'll draw the ire of the others. Fucking A, we can't even hit this one? Can't end combat either. Sheesh. Okay. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Come and get me, rat. Sheesh, how do I how do I shoot in? There we go. Boom. 
Wow, it lives still. Okay. Boom. Okay, we're good. How about over there? 75? Ugh, I'm going long. 95. Hell yes. How about this one? 63? Fuck it, I'm taking the shot. Taking the shot. There we go. Crit it. Oh, yeah. Seriously wounding the rat and knocking it around. That's what I like. Knock that rat around. Reload our pistol arrow. Okay. What is this thing? This computer is broken. It is broken. Monitors. These monitors are broken and cannot function. You see vent. It is broken. <laughs> this vent has been damaged beyond repair. Okay. You see Ian. He's broken. <laughs> Early game companions in this game, broken. <laughs> Let's see, over here, there we go. Look alive, rat. <clears throat> Good enough. Okay. Let's do our reload real quick. Over here. What have you got? You got anything good on you? Probably not. What is this? Monitors? We can't interact with monitors, right? Yeah. Okay, event. What is this? Elevator shaft. Oh, shit. One way down? How do you go down? We just crawl around? How do we get back up? Maybe there's another... Well, no, there wouldn't be another entry exit point. Okay, let's quick save. You see chair. You see monitor. Okay, computer. It is broken. It is broken. Make it go. You see computer. It is broken. What about this? What is this? This is a bed. This bed is in pretty bad condition. Anything else here? No. Okay. Can I see the window? You see wall. Oh no. I thought it was a window, but it was a wall. Now the sweat is dripping down. <laughs> okay, let's look in here. Look, I almost missed it. A locker. Okay. I thought it almost sounded like there was a booby trap on this thing. Got a healing kit. Got some stim packs. Okay. Ian? I need you to get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, dude, come on. Maybe I have to shut it? Ian, let me- let me through, Ian! <laughs> let me through, Ian! <laughs> Ian? What are you doing? Never mind, Ian. I really can't pass through Ian here. <laughs> Come on, Ian! Jesus Christ, this is like Baldur's Gate 1 all over again! <laughs> Going through the fucking dungeons! Oh, freedom at last! Okay. <laughs> fucking A. Alright. Let's go on over here. Cool. And I guess we'll quick save and interact with Elevator Shaft. Let me inspect it real quick. The elevator shaft is not easily descended without a rope. Ah, we have a rope, don't we? Didn't we steal one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. A strong, thick line. About 45 feet in length. It weighs 10 pounds. Fuck me. 10 pounds of rope? 45 feet in length? We're just hauling that shit around. Hopefully we got like a, a lasso belt or something. The elevator shaft is- oh, did, did we just set the rope? I hope. Okay. I'm gonna quick save in case I do this wrong and the game is just like, You have a rope in your inventory, you should probably use it here. You decide to jump down the elevator shaft, you break your legs. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so I have to use here? 
Okay. And then, how about now? Okay. How about, oh, use on. Wait, you can, you, can you use rope on, can you like Indiana Jones or lasso, cowboy lasso fucking enemies and shit? No way. You successfully sling a rope down into the elevator shaft. Wow, how many ropes are we going to need in this game? Okay. There we go. Ooh, what is this little dude? What is this thing? A pig rat? What? I can talk to it. It has nine HPs. How much... How many bullets do I have? Yeah, fuck me. Okay. Let's see, over here? Oh, fuck. These rats mean business. Boom. Blasted. Can they hear me? Can the rest of the rats hear me, like, fucking around? Let's see. What's a good one that's easy to hit? I think we're good for now. Or how about this one over here in the corner? 67, I'll take it. Ooh, critically hit. Knocked it around. 95% on the second one. We knocked it directly into our, like, line of sight. How about this one? Pig rat. You missed. Get it, Ian. Oh, shit. Ian's fucked. The pig rats are coming. Boom. 75. Pig rat down. Why did it say I could talk to him? What was up with that? Should I have tried to talk to the pig rat? Okay. Well. Let's move our bod over here, I guess. Okay. Good shit, Ian. Okay. 64. I'm a little weary of hitting Ian. Unlike Ian, I'm a little concerned about friendly fire here. Okay, it's coming in for the kill. Bring in the rain! <laughs> okay. Oh shit, look, I didn't even notice. We had an incident of friendly fire. Oops! Cave Rat was hit instead of Cave Rat! Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, how about this one? Ooh, it's a little far off. How about we go... Over here? Like so. Oh shit, Ian! You're just fucking pulling the whole place, huh? He's gonna train the whole dungeon on us. Boom, 67. Oh yeah. Okay. Fuck me, Ian. You're about to get your whole world rocked here, dude. Okay. Let's go over this way. And I guess down this. Ian, are you are you are we chill? Are we good? Whew. For crushing your enemies, you earn 325 XP. They have been crushed. This is the Vault Living Quarters. It is a standard design from the time before the war. Okay. Ian, can we look at your HPs? Ian is back at 50 HPs. Despite the f Oh, look! Rat coming in! Target lock. Mm. Oh, fuck! I'm out of juice! Cover me, Ian! Hell yeah. <laughs> you are victorious against Rat. 25 XP. War never changes, by the way. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Pig Rat. Nothing on you. Nope. Okay. Sure. Well? How do we want to handle this? Do we want to check each room? Down the southerly way here? I guess so. Kind of a small vault. Especially compared to how impressive the map was. Oh fuck! Pig rat! Hit me for seven! Ian, I need backup! Oh shit! I seriously wounded that rat. I hope I seriously kill you. Boom. Hell yes. Okay, I'm quick saving. Is it worth it to put off healing, or should I just be healing as soon as it's necessary? 
Okay. Over here? What do we got? We got anything in here? Look. Is this a locker? What's this? See nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. What's this? Bed. In wretched condition. How about this rat? Is it also in wretched condition? This isn't a fucking locker? Oh. Oh, that's Ian. Okay, ne never mind, Ian. I'm sorry. Carry on. <laughs> okay, let's quick save. Let's go on down here. Oh, whoa. Uh oh. Rat incoming. Fire at will. Uh. Gotcha. Okay. That was the only rat? Yeah. Reload. Good. Now what is this? 0.223 full metal jacket. Whoa! A case of ammunition. 0.223 FMJ. I'll take it. Inventory. Oh. It only gave us 15 more. Wow. Where did we get all this extra FMJ from? I don't even remember. Or all this extra 0.223. Let's see, what is this? A table. It's broken. The table was badly damaged. Oh god, is the water chip gonna be okay? I don't remember how this goes down. <laughs> I think it ends up being okay. Okay, I've quick saved. Now, for right now, should we go up this northern passage? I kind of think so. Oh, I see. The vault has caved in on itself. There's a whole bunch of cave inning. <laughs> okay. What is this? Wow, more of this. 0.223. I still have nothing that uses it, though. Maybe I can just level up my strength any and throw the bullets really hard, and that'll be good enough. Or like a cartoon character, I can just put a whole bunch in my mouth and chew on them a bit and then shoot them out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's do a quick save again. What is this? Another elevator shaft! Fuck me, I only got one rope. Oh, you gotta be shitting my ass off. Are there any fucked up rats in here? What is this? A locker. Okay. Oh, thank goodness, another rope. <laughs> Let's see. And a leather jacket. Wow, okay. A black, heavy leather jacket. Okay, well, I will take it. And I shall equip it. Give us some armor. We'll get our Mad Max on. A black, heavy leather jacket. It weighs five pounds. So what's our armor at right now? 10. And damage resist of 0. 10 and 0. Okay. So now, after we equip this, 10 and 0. If I equip it, does my carry weight go down too? No. Okay, 10 and 0. Now, what's our shit at? 18 and 20. Okay. Does it round up or round down in our favor or against our favor, I wonder? Okay. Is there anything else good in this room? What is this? A little bathroom? Oh. It is. Oh, shit. Did I, I must have missed all the other bathrooms then. Yeah, let's backtrack. Maybe there's goodies inside of the bathrooms. You know? Anything over here? Nah, we're fine. Okay. Back this way. Cool. Let's see over this. We got anything in the shitter? Not really. Okay. There can't actually be something in there. Like, do I need to inspect it? Oh, I just inspected Ian again. Sorry, Ian. You're good. Let's head over this way. Good. Okay, over here. 
What's this? This toilet is broken and definitely not usable if you're a woman. Okay. Well, if that's the case, you're just not trying hard enough. Let's go over this way. Or is this some good old-fashioned 1990s women, right? Can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> is, that, is that what we got going on here? Okay. Let's see. Down this way. Let's blast the pig rat. Fuck, I can't even see it from here. It's too elusive. Okay. Time to blast. 69%? Hell yes, I'll take it. I missed. Again. Hit it for four. It's coming in hot. Boom. This one. 82. Fuck. Ian's gonna kick its ass. He says, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Okay, good. I'm gonna kick your ass! <laughs> fuck yeah. Dude, I bet people in the 90s ate this shit up like, Oh fuck, this video game is fucking buck wild. Okay. It's like no holds bar. I mean, that said, we, it, it definitely established that at the beginning, right? <laughs> With the, the opening dialogue and everything, Ron, what Ron Perlman had to say, you know? <laughs> Holy shit. For the 90s, I don't know, I guess mentioning, especially in a video game, you know? The political commentary was kind of off the chain in a good way. I didn't expect it to open so fucking hard. Like, I knew that Ron Perlman and stuff was there, but I didn't, certainly I didn't have the opening memorized or whatever. Like, shit, even just, um, having the power-armored American soldier fucking execute the Canadian prisoner of war or whatever during the annexation of Canada in the fucking opening cutscene and shit? Jesus! I didn't think it would go fucking that buck wild just right out the fucking gate. Okay. Anything over here? Let's see. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Alright. Let's do a quick save. But yeah, of course, you know. In seeing that, obviously Fallout is definitely not leveling any criticism toward the American way of life or anything that happens in America. It's a completely apolitical game. It's just a cool sci-fi post-apocalyptic game. Definitely doesn't have anything to say about any of that shit. It's just cool lasers and nuclear weapons, which are, of course, nuclear weapons are a completely apolitical weapon to use in all games. <laughs> Man, it's amazing that some of this shit goes over people's heads. It's got to be said. Okay. Let's see. Anything over here? Good. Okay, elevator shaft. Oh, right, we have to actually equip our item here. Let's see. Good, and done. Okay, and boom. It has been slung. Down we go, Ian. Should I rest? I don't know. Let's play it a little fucking risky, huh? Here we go, baby. I got my leather jacket on. I'm too cool to die. Oh, fuck. Look at all this. So many fucking pig rats in here. Damn. Okay. This vault's weird, sick, fucked up experiment. One third of the occupants were all cops. <laughs> fuck. All right. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Alright, let's let's take care of these pig rats. There we go. 65. Ugh! Right in its butt. There we go. Good shit. Seriously wounded. It has been knocked around. Slaying the minor rats. Bam. Okay. Cool shit. Alright, let us also chill out with that. There is another rat over here, over yonder. It is a pig rat, too. Okay. 
Good. Huh. Very well. Okay, let's reload our stuff. Great. And let's investigate this body of the pig rat. Look, it, we blew it up so bad, it exploded into gore. We got like the bloody mess, bloody mess death, I guess. Hmm. Oh, look, we have flavor text. You know this to be the meeting room for the vault, where the emergency supply cabinet would be is buried under tons of rock. Wow, who put it all there? Why would they do this? Okay, I see bones. I used to be able to loot stuff here. Hmm. There is some 10 millimeter armor piercing rounds over here, though. You see cave wall. Nothing out of the ordinary. A standard American cave wall. Oh, fuck. Ian, no! Ian, you've done it again. You sick motherfucker. Now I'm trapped here forever with the pig rats. What a way to go. Ian, they need the water chip, Ian. <laughs> Ian, get the fuck out of here. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Whew. Thank goodness he occasionally patrols around a little bit. Was this a wall? Okay. Over here. Nothing. Over this way. Okay. Remains of pig rat. What have you got? Nothing. Just another pig rat. Bleached bones. Do we spy any useful items? I don't. I don't spy any of them. I'm quick saving as we proceed to the next room. <gasps> pig rat on approach! Fire at will. Set phasers to kill. Ugh. Good work. Me. <laughs> Good work, me. Okay. Ian, after this, we'll all get medals. Oh, shit. Pig rat inbound. Dude, they need to bring back the fucking pig rats. Why, why did they get rid of them? How come we ain't seen pig rats back, huh? Oh, shit. What is this? Is this a mole rat powered up? What is this over here? Fuck, I have no idea. Okay. Should I try and shoot it? I'm going for the pig rat. Ugh, got it. Oh shit, Ian's going in! Ian's buck wild! He's drawing the aggro from everything! Okay. Boom. Look alive, Ian! The greater mole rat! Oh shit! We've jostled it! <gasps> it's coming in for the kill against me! 95%. Greater mole rat! Eat hot lead, motherfucker! <laughs> the pig rats are coming in hot! They're all missing Ian! Ian is just dodging them! He's going Matrix mode versus rats, cave rats, pig rats, mole rats. I'm putting them down. Look out, Ian. I'm shooting right between your thighs. <laughs> okay. Great. Holy shit. Didn't even need to reload yet. See, Ian, that's why you gotta keep your fucking weapon handy and reload it and everything. Let's examine Greater Mole Rat. Fuck. Okay, we should have examined it while it was still living. Oh shit, a minor cave rat has appeared. Boom. Boom. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, over here. 75%. Ugh. Did I get it? Yeah, I killed it. Holy shit. Wait. I'm still in combat with something. Oh, fuck. Somehow we have drawn the ire of this rat all the way over here? 59%. Ooh, sorry, Ian. <laughs> look, look out! There's a pig rat with a gun! <laughs> Ian! <laughs> ah, shit! Don't worry, I just killed it. Silently. Oh, fuck. He, he, the pig rat gave up. It thought, it thought wow, these two, <laughs> they're just shooting each other now. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Boom! Hell yes. Okay. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Okay, let's quick save. Quick, Ian. Into the good room. F filled with cool lockers and shit. Any other goodies around on the ground? 
Need I investigate further? No. Okay. Let's search. Jesus, the sound of... Oh, yes! A 10 millimeter SMG. H and K MP9 machine submachine gun, 10 millimeter variant, a medium sized SMG capable of single shot and burst mode, minimum strength four, has 30 out of 30 shots of 10 millimeter JHP baby. Yes, who is H and K in this world? Hmm. Don't they also make tools? Am I, am I misremembering? Isn't there an H and K tools? In New Vegas? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's take it. And it is stocked. It's full. Is there any reason not to equip it? Let's see. Character. I can wield it. Let's see here. We should probably take the bullets out of this pistol. There we go. Maybe it has like a worse hit chance? Range 25. Okay. And then the range on this? Also 25. Damage 5 to 12. 5 to 12. Yeah, it's just a straight upgrade. Okay. Good. Yeah. I love it. Done. And it's fully loaded already. Hang on, did th this other pistol, it is not fully loaded. Or it is fully loaded too. Yeah, we can pull the ammo out of it. Excellent. Which is why they don't stack together. Ah, look at that! Figured it out. I don't know what my character was doing there, but I interrupted that weird animation. Quick saving in case this is going to blow up right in front of my face. Look, I have... I've went through shit in Baldur's Gate 1. <laughs> Listen, when it comes to booby traps in like dimly lit little dungeons like this, where my followers are going to block off my path, I've been through some shit in Baldur's Gate 1. I'm, I'm a little afraid like I could step right through a doorway and instantly some fucking thing is going to blow up and obliterate all of us. <laughs> I'm still feeling the after effects of that experience. All right, some dynamite. A high explosive consisting of nitroglycerin mixed with the absorbent substance Kassolger includes a timer. Okay. Granada. Okay. A generic fragmentation grenade contains a small amount of high explosives. The container itself, forming most of the damaging fragments, explodes on contact. Minimum strength, three. What's the minimum strength on the dynamite, I wonder? Or is the dynamite actually not a weapon and it's a purely context-sensitive item? Oh, yeah, it might be a context-sensitive item that you can only use in specific... Oh. What was that that I did? What was that? I threw some shit onto the ground. I'm just reloading non-stop with this with this shit. Okay, well. Fucking, sorry, Ian. I'm ending, I'm ending combat here, Ian. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Should I check over this way? We got anything? No. Can I inspect the locker any better? It is a locker. Great. Okay, now this looks like a water chip room if I've ever seen one, you know? Okay. Ooh. You are able to determine that the command and the control center is definitely buried under even more rock. You'll have to look for the water chip elsewhere. <gasps> oh, no. Fuck. I reload my weapon. Oh, a crowbar. Cool. When did Half-Life 1 come out? I guess we might find out if there's a... Gordon Freeman reference here. I think this predates Half-Life 1, right? A very solid and heavy piece of metal, specially designed to exert leverage or pound heads. 
Minimum strength five. It weighs five pounds. Hmm. I, I don't know when Half-Life 1 came out, unfortunately. Okay. Anything over here? Let's do a quick save. Okay. Good. I don't think Half-Life 1 was 90s, though. I really don't think so. I'm like almost positive. I'm like 97.5% sure. I'm pretty sure it was early aughts. Man, look at that. We put down that pig rat with one blast. How about this one? Oh, going long. Hell yes, Ian. Boom. Annihilated. Regular rat? Uh, it is no match. Okay. Over here. Ian is just pulling the rest of the fucking dungeon. 58. Hell yeah. I think we even killed it? No. Okay. Boom. I do know that the extra descript- Ooh. What was that? Oh, because I missed. I shot wide. It even had like a, a Wild West sort of bullet twang. Pew! This is gonna hurt you a lot, and me not at all. Ian, I hope that was you who said that, and not someone through the doorway over there. There we go. Let's do a quick save. There are so many bullets in this fucking gun, it's outrageous. Let's blast a rat. Ugh. Holy shit. Excellent. Okay, good. Now, what is this? It is a pillar of eternity? <laughs> a support pillar. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What is this over here? No, nothing. I'm quick saving. Okay. What's up here? The rest of the vault in this direction had delicate equipment that has probably been ruined and destroyed. There's a very low chance of anything remaining of value. Okay, well. I'm surprised it is not filled with any raiders or anything. What did they even do to this place that warranted... Like, why'd they have to fuck it up so bad? You know? What the hell happened? Huh. What's this? More computers. These are just similar computers, they just look different. Slightly different models. Okay. Up and over this way. What's over here? Ooh, an item on the ground. Well, 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 a first aid book. What do you fucking know? Let's give it a quick read. There we go. Actually, here, before we do that, let's... Let's see and appreciate how high our shit's gonna skyrocket here. First day to 30? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hit me up on the fucking reading rainbow, baby. Oh yes. How much did I get? Seven! I'll take it! Okay. It's like half a level worth, almost. Certainly if we had lower int. Okay, let's quick save. Head on over this way. Good. And just a little bit more to investigate here. We'll go a little long, that way we can finish out this dungeon. Any sick fucks in here? No. Just me and Ian. <laughs> We're the only sick fucks around. There looks to be little of value left in this room. Okay. Monitors. Sure. I mean, this one looks fairly intact. It's got to be said. Look, a rat has appeared. Do these rats also respawn? Okay. Well. There you go, rat. Good. 
shit. Ian. Okay, look, we can at least lure you out and then go back in. There we go. Do another quick save. Okay, anything else? No, I think, I think we're good. I think we got it all. Oh, look, there is a locker up ahead. Very nice. Good. You know, I gotta say, so far, the game's been running great without any sort of special patches and all of that. I, I heard that there was, like, a re-release version on Steam in, like, early 20-teens, mid-early 20-teens, something along those lines. So maybe that's why. Also, 44 Magnum FMJ. Holy shit. We're getting a lot of Magnum rounds. But yeah, there was the Fallout fixed, not fix it, but fixed patch and whatnot that some people recommended using. However, it has not been updated in maybe two years, if not more. And then I also saw some reports of people who tried it more recently who said that they had compatibility issues with that mod, the fixed mod, and their version of Windows, whether it be updated or Windows 11 or something. So I was like, eh, maybe not. There was a version of Fallout 1 that's like a full conversion and puts it inside of the engine that Fallout 2 runs on, as far as fan patches and stuff are concerned. But I didn't really want that. I kind of am the sort of person who likes the experience jank and all of the older game, right? Part of that is the fun for me. Sometimes, you know, if you run into a bug or something, as long as it isn't going to completely break the fucking game, I kind of enjoy that. It's part of the the experience, you know? I'm I'm a weirdo. What can I say? Okay. Don't blame anyone who wouldn't want that, but I do kind of want that. What can I say? I play a lot of Bethesda games. <laughs> okay, let's... <laughs> Sorry. I do really like them, though. Okay, let's get out of here. There we go. How, oh, shit. How do we How do we get out? Oh, over this way. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's do a quick save again. And let's haul ass out of here. So now, let's check our Pip-Boy real quick. Status? Vault 13? Find the water chip. Shady Sands. Stop the Rad Scorpions. Fuck. Where do we get a water chip from? Maybe we gotta go to Junk Town. Maybe they'll have a junk chip. Oh shit. Oh jeez, you really got a pixel hunt for that ladder, huh? Okay. Let's see, all my time of watching Let's Plays of Old Sierra Point and Clicks has paid off. <laughs> I haven't I haven't played many myself, but I've watched a few people play them. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, Day 9's mostly walking playthroughs and all of that. I like to watch those every now and again. Alright, well, when next we come back, we will, I suppose, head on out to... I don't know. Shady Sands? Junk Town? I doubt the, the cons will have a water chip. This has put a wrench in things. I <laughs> I can't believe I did not remember that you don't actually get the water chip. I legit thought we were going to get it. And <laughs> that's why I was like, wow, it's so easy. We have like all the time in the world. Everybody always said that it's so it's so difficult with managing the uh the timer as a new player. And maybe it still will be, but certainly this has thrown me for a bit of a loop. <laughs> All right, when next we come back, we're looking for the chip. Junk Town, go back to Shady Sands and ask around. Oh, we can go back to Vault 13, can't we? I'm pre I'm like, fuck, I'm like 85% sure you can return back to Vault 13 and have some sort of dialogue. So we'll definitely do that. Maybe we'll check out Shady Sands because it's on the way. We can maybe even heal up there at the doctor rather than spending a, a stim pack. I'm not sure how much are stim packs worth. I'd have to assume it's more than 25 caps, you know? And I wonder as well, if I spend caps, can I steal them back from the good doctor? Maybe I can barter back? I got a lot of guns. Got a crowbar I'm never going to use. Some grenades. Well, okay, grenades might actually be useful. I might want to hold on to grenades. 
All right. Regardless, we got a lot of shit. I'm throwing away magazines left and right out here in the fucking <laughs> in Southern California. When next we come back, we're checking that shit out. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>